Hi guys, just wanted to make a video about my next seven days. One thing I see a lot in this business is people are still surprised when they find out how much work this is and how much potential there is for you to work seven days a week and be working 18 hour days, seven days a week. And sometimes in the springtime, you have to get while the getting is good. So. I know that's kind of cliche, but it is what it is. This business is seasonal, so if you don't hit it hard when the business is there to be had, then you're going to be hurting in uh, November or December when you find that nobody wants to have vendors out anymore and people aren't really buying because hot dogs are kind of a summer food. At least for me, if you have a business that works great in the wintertime, that's cool, but hot dogs, spring and summertime, that's where our business is. That's when we have the most people. And to be honest, I would say spring even more so than summer because people are missing summer. They're missing their ball food. They're missing last year. They are itching to get out of the house and go do something fun in the nice weather. So I find that our spring sales are the best. So in this last week of April, I am booked for seven days straight. So tonight I'm doing a neighborhood event. Tomorrow I'm doing a private catering for a company lunch. Um, the day after that we have a school event. Uh, the Friday we have another school event. Saturday we're doing an event at a winery, um, a couple like 30 minutes away from here. Uh, Sunday we are doing makeup games at the baseball fields because we got rained out uh, two Saturdays ago. So that ought to be interesting. That's not in the food truck. It's going to be in the concession stand. But uh, then Monday night we're filling in, making a guest appearance for a kickball at Campos again. So I figured I'd make this video to kind of check in every day and kind of tell you how I'm feeling and uh, how I'm feeling on Monday is going to be drastically different from how I'm feeling today. So today is basically like Monday morning, 8 a.m. Get ready to go. So um, obviously. I'm not going to encourage this kind of behavior for everybody because there's such a thing as balance, but balance is for the birds. Here we go. Today we're at a neighborhood event. I'll see what I can do to make uh, get little tidbits of video for you uh, and kind of show how it goes. together as quick as humanly possible 
I'm hoping that I can get things together in record time to be able to start this event on time because it is a private party. The company is paying for lunch for everybody, so I don't want to charge them for an extra hour if I'm late. So that's kind of what happens sometimes. It is what it is. I'm so, uh, I got so much information in my brain that every once in a while something slips through um, and I do my best to organize things on my calendar but sometimes if a message gets sent after the event's already booked in the calendar and I don't remember to go change it right away then I miss it and uh, thankfully most people are pretty understanding about stuff and uh, most of the time I can get things together pretty fast if I need to um, bump up the timeline a little bit so here we go feeling pretty good today um, not too tired yet just a little stressed because of this morning's shenanigans but it'll be a good day I'm excited and uh, this event is for a friend of mine who is also he's not a food vendor but they him and his wife do like a party business it's super fun they're called uh, the rockabilly balloon vendors so they do party balloons and face painting they're really kind people and I'm excited that he thought of us to book for his company party so with some chips if you'd like. Thank you. Of course, y'all set? Yes. Okay, enjoy. So we are in Concord doing a customer appreciation event for my good friend Matt, who is also known as the Rockabilly Balloon Vendor. I'll have to show you guys a link to his uh, business. And we're here with Honeywell and the guys, and they are selling HVAC equipment, which is super exciting. Okay, so what are you having for lunch? Well, just, I, I am having hot dogs. Perfect. Just about yes. everybody's uh, had a, a pulled pork hot dog with nacho cheese on it today. Did they? Yeah, almost oh everybody. Goodness. I have enough pulled pork if you'd like one of those. I also have hot links, but I forgot to put it on the board, so. Do you really? That's what you like, right? You like hot yes. links? Yeah, Matt's sure favorite is hot links. Okay, Molly and Mason, Dad's bringing lunch home. just a little bit chaotic but nothing way out of control um, we managed to make it to all of our events on time so far and get everything done that I needed to get done during the day which is really my biggest challenge when I have events in the evening and I have to go get stuff done for our other locations during the day it makes getting to the events in the evening on time just a little more difficult because if I'm running around and I run into an obstacle that has, takes a little bit longer than I plan to get fixed then that's what slows me down but um, we're here at Antioch Charter Academy 2, which is at the Contra Costa County Fairgrounds in Antioch. And it's pretty beautiful here. It's kind of wide open space. It's right up next to an RV park, which is kind of funny, but um, they do a lot of cool events here. And uh, I'll see if I can get a cool video of kind of the line and the picnic area and people enjoying their hot dogs. Here we go. <laughs>
All right, just finished up packing up for day four of seven days straight. I'm tired today, I'm moving a little slower. Got my Red Bull. I'm ready to go. I'll try to get some footage, but tonight's gonna be a crazy one, so I'm gonna have to figure out a good camera angle to show kind of how nuts it gets. But uh, should be fun, should be a good night. coffee coming today and uh, I'm gonna show kind of a little bit of the packing up process today so that you guys can see so last night aren't we were so busy we sold absolutely everything in the trailer so I have to restock it all thankfully I have this wonderful store which is now permitted as a commissary that was a much easier process than I thought it was gonna be um, but we have tons and tons of food here so it would be no problem for us to stock up the trailer again uh, for a hopefully busy event again today. So brought my little rolling cooler and my crates and we're gonna pack everything up and uh, bring it out. So we're in the store. This time I ordered 300 pounds of hot dogs. So we have a pretty good stash in the freezer. There's four cases there. And I'm pretty sure the underside of the prep fridge is full too of um, probably gotta be 100 to 120 pounds in there. So. We're gonna load up whatever we need. And then um, thankfully, Bimbo Bread Company has been delivering us uh, 50 or 60 bags of buns a week, which is great, cause we go through it, so. Okay, 
So we're on day six of seven days straight of just going nonstop. Today we don't have any trailer events, but we are working just as hard nonetheless because um, they had a makeup day, Little League had a makeup day today for a day that we got rained out uh, a couple weeks ago. So Saturdays are usually crazy for us here at the ballpark. Um, and you know, you can kind of tell, it's, it doesn't look like there's that many people here right now, but they really pack it out here um, every Saturday. So today we anticipate being almost as busy, if not just as busy as we were yesterday, which is really tough because doing two days in a row with this high volume is just really challenging for us supplies wise. So you can see our two wagons here. We just basically had to um, cart in like, an entire 12 hour days worth of supplies because we emptied the building almost completely yesterday. So you can see them working away in there. We have all of our chips restocked and I'll get in a little closer so you can kind of see the chaos that is all of our stuff. It's fully stocked. The candy shelf is nuts all the way up to the ceiling almost with candy and we'll go through it all. We just restocked all of our drinks, our Gatorades, our waters, all that stuff. So it's gonna be another busy day today and then we can only find um, two of our staff available today to work until four or five. So Mr. Treff and I will be here around four or five to finish out the evening until eight, 8.30. I'm tripping, that's how tired I am. We could find three of our staff um, to work most of the day today, but Naraya and I will have to be here ourselves tonight to wrap it up around 8, 8.30. So definitely a long day. And then we got one more food truck gig tomorrow. I have to do all of my ordering between now and five so that we can get all of our stuff replenished for the week. So it's definitely, I'm dragging. I, uh, every muscle in my body hurts and um, I'm just about ready to crawl under the covers and sleep for a week, but it's not an option, so. out the week seven days straight I'm dragging my behind today but I just arrived at beautiful Campos family vineyards we're getting ready to serve dinner for kickball um, we played if you watch some of my YouTube videos from earlier you'll see we played kickball once or twice oh here comes like a corn dog Jill and Joey yes. You a dog? That's a TikTok dog? joke. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, I have a customer that gets under my skin just a little bit and I have to make a TikTok making fun of them. So if you enjoy some lighthearted, kind of sarcastic, slightly poking fun humor, go check out my um, TikTok and my Instagram reels. I try to keep it pretty light. And of course, I would never be unkind to any customer. I just sometimes they make me laugh so I make some funny videos about them sometimes um, but that's why she asked for a corn dog in case anybody was wondering <laughs> I'm moving so slow today I'm gonna have to speed this video up super fast <laughs>
about root and struck me and I was like, uh, can I have root please? I need to try it because I think we're going to set up a meeting with you here uh, to possibly do bubbles at our store for mimosas. This makes good mimosas, right? Yeah. Would you like a mimosa? Uh, I have, okay. Delicious. Straight up, baby. Today. So I'm ending my seven days straight in Campos. Thankfully, there's alcohol available because I really need it. No place better to end a seven day bender than here at Campos. I'm done. It's the end of the seven day straight. Got some bomb Mexican food. I'm about to sit down and veg out for the rest of the evening and hopefully take the day off tomorrow. Thanks for watching.